Are you interested in the benefits of red light therapy, but you're not sure which device to buy? Well, the wavelength matters because not all red light is created equal. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Mills, holistic medical doctor with a root cause approach to your health and hormones, and welcome to the Wild Wisdom Show. Today, we're going to be talking about the best wavelengths for red light therapy, depending on what you intend to target. So wavelengths basically are determining... So not all red light is created equal. Red light has a broad spectrum within the wavelength capacity. So not all red light is created equal, and it is important to understand what each different range of wavelengths of red light can do for your health. So for example, research shows that wavelength, which is measured in nanometers, between 660 and 670 nanometers, promotes deep healing, anti-inflammatory effects, and circulation boosts. So for example, at 660 nanometers, researchers have observed a very strong anti-cancer effect in laboratory studies. So not so much in many human studies, but in laboratory studies, it has been shown to be very effective as an anti-cancer agent. For 670 nanometers, it's optimal for stimulating nitric oxide release, which basically is important for vasodilation or relaxation of blood vessels, and that helps improve circulation. When we vasodilate our blood vessels, there's better blood flow to our tissues, better tissue repair, and better healing of the tissue. So that wavelength can be very, very helpful for healing on many different levels affecting the circulation for healing of many different levels that affect tissue repair. So 670 nanometers can be a range that you're looking for if you're looking to promote tissue repair and recover from injury. The wavelengths between 630 and 635 nanometers seems to be very good for skin health, shown in studies to improve skin repair, wound healing, and tissue regeneration. So if you're someone interested in that aspect, the skin health, then we want to look at that shorter wavelength because the shorter the wavelength, the more superficial the effects, the deeper the wavelength, the deeper the effects. At 650 to 660 nanometers, we have improvements in what's called childhood myopia. So when kids develop problems with nearsightedness, so they can see things, they can see things that are up close, but have a hard time seeing things that are far away. This range of wavelength has been shown to be helpful to slow down the progression of myopia. And also it's been shown to reduce abnormal cell growth. So cells that are abnormal that could potentially become cancerous also seem to be helped within this range. The longer wavelengths between 800 and 830 nanometers, they penetrate deeper. They're the ones that health professionals may use for improving muscle, joint, and nerve repair. So the deeper tissues in the body to get that deeper effect. So as a general rule, the longer the wavelength, so the higher the number within the range of 620 to 800 nanometers, when you're getting up towards the 800, 830 nanometers, those are longer wavelengths, they penetrate deeper, whereas the shorter wavelengths around 630 nanometers, they help with the more superficial skin health. Now, people will ask, well, what if I buy a light bulb, a red light bulb LED at the local lighting store? Will that give me any health effects if I sit in front of it and expose my skin to it? The problem is that that wavelength is too short for many health benefits. It's between 620 and 630 nanometers. And there haven't been many studies showing that there's been any beneficial effect. You might get a little bit of skin effect if you're sitting really up close to the light bulb at around that 630 nanometer. But it seems like it's a 630 to 635 that has the most health benefits. So while you may be getting some benefits, you might also be wasting your time. And so you may want to in, uh, invest. So you may want to invest in the, uh, so you may want to invest in a right so you may want to invest in a red light bulb therapy that provides you that 630 to 635 nanometers. Now, if you find a very affordable LED red light bulb that has a wavelength in that range, then power to you, it could work for skin healing. 
So what you want to do is you want to choose the wavelength based on your health goal. Are you looking for skin, for circulation, or deeper repair? Seems like if you can buy an uh, if you can buy a device that has a range, the sweet spot is between 630 and 670 nanometers. That'll give you the skin health plus uh, the circulatory boost, a vasodilation for better tissue repair and healing. And that range is also considered to be very safe and well tolerated. Anything between the 630 to 700 nanometer range is considered to be very safe. The deeper wavelengths may need some medical supervision or some health professional supervision. There could be some internal side effects. Uh, and so you'll want to make sure that you're not overdoing those or doing those without, without some kind of initial supervision at least. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Patricia Mills, MD. That's the very best way to support the Wild Wisdom Show. Save this episode for future reference and share. Sharing is caring, and you never know when someone might benefit from this wild wisdom. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.